Welcome to Psychic Medium. Tony Green, this girl right here. So today's show is going to be so exciting. I've already been getting tons of songs and names and messages, and I can't wait to share them with you. Um, so um, yes, okay. First and foremost, if you would like to join the show right now, if you're watching or listening live and you'd like to join the show, you can call in and the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And you can ask a question about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of life at all, or connect doink, 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 with a loved one on the other side. I just need their first name and their relationship to you and an exact question to kind of swoop into their energy, make sure we have the right person. Okay. Uh, you can connect with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, and I think there's another social media place, but I just can't remember it right now. Uh, but remember, I will never reach out to you, never, ever reach out to you um, to, to tell you to send me money, ask you for a reading, anything like that, or tell you you need a reading, nothing like that, please do not get scammed. In order to get a reading from me, I do private readings, but in order to get a reading from me or a service from me, you go to my website and then you call me. My website is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, intentionally very different than every other website. Okay, you guys, today's book is this one, Channeled Messages from Above. Now, I would read you a poem out of here, but I'm not a very good reader, not even of my own stuff. <laughs> it's okay. And then I have, <laughs> because I'm so creative with my <laughs> book titles, Channeled Messages from Above. <laughs> I can't. I can't see it. So these, yes, they have the same name, but they have different covers. They have different covers. I can't even. Oh my God, I can't even. Okay. And, but this one's completely different. What if a transitional journey, a transitional, a transformational guide? And if I could, okay, we've slaughtered my books enough. For today we're moving on. Next part of the show. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so um, April, I see that your call dropped. If you would like me to connect with your loved one, please call back in, press one. Let me answer that question for you. If you cannot call back in, please let me know in the chat. I'll be um, I'll be happy to help you as much as I can. Okay, so the first thing I'm hearing today is the song, not the song, the movie Hee Haw. I can't even get it out of my head. So uh, whoever has a loved one on the other side, or if you were loved hee haw or you watched it with this person they are here and they are like oh making me a little cray cray about that song okay i'm gonna go to songs first i'm gonna do songs today and then i'm going to do names the songs could be um a song they loved a song you loved or the song could be explaining your situation something you need to do or an answer to a question songs Angels love to speak through songs, okay? So the first song, I wrote some of them down because there were so many of them flooding into me and I wanted to make sure I didn't forget any songs for anybody. And the first song is Grease Lightning, which I don't I don't even need to go into that. Um, the next one is Don't Fear the Reaper. And I really don't know that song or the words to it. So that's that song. The next song is um, uh, Loving You, Something, Something Beautiful. And God, I apologize for my inability to have any singing talent whatsoever. Okay. But this is the way spirit comes through. That's what I got to do. Okay. Next is, um, 
Oh, <laughs> we gotta fight for our right to party. <laughs> yes, that song just cracks me up. <laughs> okay, and then the next song is, I think this is by Tears for Fear. Don't you forget about me. No, 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 don't you. And then the next song is Brass Monkey. I can't even go any further with that one. Monkey Junkie. <laughs> Brass Monkey Junkie. Okay, I can go further with that one. <laughs> and then the next one. Oh, okay. I can't get the beat. Not that I can get the beat to any of these. I touch you once. I touch you. Or is it I kiss you once? I kiss you twice. I won't let go at any price. Or is it I touch you once? Touch doesn't sound right. I think it's I kiss you once. That song, whatever that song is, whatever those words are. Um, and then the next song is I'll stop the world and melt with you. I've seen the difference and it's getting better all the time. Okay, so those are some of the songs. I'm going to just check in with everybody and see if there's any other songs that they want to bring through. And the one song that I'm, it's not really a song song by this person, but it's um, Marilyn Monroe, who is like one of my favorite people in the world. And yeah, I know, you know, Marilyn Monroe was very, um, she was, if you research everything she stood for, you would be amazed at who she was as a person and what she did as a person. But her singing Happy Birthday, that's coming through. And then um, anything else? Um, a Black by Pearl Jam. I can't, I can't think of the words, but I just heard Black by Pearl Jam. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go to names. This could be your name, their name, or the name of somebody you know and or love. Okay. And I, the reason I do the songs and the names is because not everybody gets a chance to ask a question or call in. And this way, if you hear your loved one's name or a song that makes sense to you, it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it helps everybody. It gives something to everybody. So the names I'm hearing are um, Jaden. Uh, with these J names, they always come through with J names. It's just always. Jared. The next name is Priscilla. Poppy, I said. And then Jameson. That can be a name or if it's something else to you, like whiskey, that's fine. It can be a first or a last name also. And then um, Trinity. And then the name, uh, I don't even know, you guys, Jefferson, which can be a last name, obviously, but it can be, I don't even know, but that's what, that's the name they're giving me. Okay, Bob. Rich or Richie, Camille, Gustavo, M Melanie or Malen Malena, one of those. Okay, and then uh, give me two more names and then we're done. Um, they're saying Richie again, but I'm not counting that as one of the names. Um, and then the name... <sighs> I can't pronounce that. <laughs> okay, give me a name. I think it goes with the music. It's Akon. And I think that's a group or a singer, or maybe it's somebody's name, but it's A-K-O-N, Akon or Akon. And then uh, the last name is uh, Guadalupe. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to go to callers. I'm going to take uh, questions online and we are going to get started. When I say your area code, please let me know where you're calling from. Let me know um, your first name. 
and then give me uh, your exact question. Please one question or connection per person. Um, just because there's a lot of people and I like to try to be fair to everybody who's been, um, who's been, you know, waiting and wants to get through. And so that's just one question about life, love, career, finances. The number is 845-277-9131. Yep. And then, um, or you can put your question in the chat. Okay, here we go. The first person I'm going to take because she was in the chat like 40 minutes before the show even started is 602602. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? 602. Oh, are you with me? Yep, I'm with oh, you. Yeah. Yep. So what's your name uh, now for everybody I'm listening? April. April, and what would you like today? I already know, but for everybody listening. Okay, sorry about that. I, I want to know if Angie has any messages for me. Okay. Um, and Angie is your mom, correct? Yes. Okay. And I know that, folks, because she put it in the chat. And then I asked her just to call in um, because when I do connections, I love to do them over the air. So, um, okay, so the first thing that she's saying, the first thing I'm getting, and I was getting this when I read the 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 your question on uh, when you put it in the chat, is the first thing she's saying is she's sorry. Whatever that means between you and her or her and whatever happened, the first thing she wants to say is she's sorry. Um, she kind of, I, I'm hearing the word imposition or imposing. And even if you didn't feel this way, she may have felt this way at some point. So that's the mess, the first message I'm getting. And then the second thing I'm getting is um, it's a joy. <clears throat> she's like, like she does this, she goes, oh, what a relief. It's a joy. It's a joy to be um, back home, like to be where she is, to be with the people here, to be in this energy again. Okay. Like it's such a, a weight of the world off of her. It was a, a she's saying it was a long, hard journey for her. And she didn't, um, uh -huh. she, it, it wasn't always easy, but it was definitely worth it. And um, she should have left things a little bit better. Maybe she means more organized, but, and maybe that's why she's apologizing because she didn't leave things as organized as she could or as good, uh, um, all the papers or the paperwork. But she wants you to know, don't worry so much about it. It's it's going to, she's just going, don't worry so much about it. It's just, it's all going to work out. It's all going to be okay. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm, she has, um, she wants you to know at night when you go to sleep, she's doing this thing over your eyes. Like, it's okay. Just go to sleep. It's okay. Just, I'm going to, oh, I can't cry this early in the show, folks. Oh, she, it's okay. Just go to sleep. It's okay. It's just, just go to sleep now. It's time for sleep, but let, it'll be here in the morning. It'll all be here in the morning. Just sleep now. So these are some of the messages she has for you. She also wants you to know she's really grateful. Um, and then she's saying the word tumultuous, like whether if things were up and down, either with her health, with a relationship, with whatever she is saying, um, it's OK. It's exactly as it was supposed to be. OK, love. Yeah, that was with, with her health. OK. And the imposition. She lived with me before she died. She always felt like she was a burden to me. She was not. No. And she, I'm going to say, she knows that now, even though the first thing she was, the first thing she said was sorry and for 
for that. She knows now that it was an honor for you to take care of her. And she says, that would be like you apologizing for being an infant. So she gets it now, the the balance in it and how it was um, like in the beginning, she took care of you. And in the end, you took, she understands now it was such an honor, but she also understands what a stress or a, 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 a how much of a, I, I, maybe how much it put, like she felt at the time it put on you that it was a little overwhelming or a little stressful for you. So she wants you to know mm -hmm. that she's aware of that. And she, but she is so grateful. She's so grateful because the, she, she's so grateful. It wasn't someplace else. Nothing against, like, please, people find the best care for their parents when it comes to that time. But she's so grateful it was in your home. It was, she was so grateful it wasn't in a facility. She would have never, she would have, she probably would have checked out intentionally before she reached a facility because she didn't want to, she didn't want to do that. She didn't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so she wants you to know she's extremely grateful for that because she would have never that's that's no way that she's just saying that's no way that was no way for her okay okay and okay she, and she of course she wants to say i love you um and and um okay she's showing me it's this stuffed like I'm going to call it like a curious George looking monkey. I don't know if that's it, but she's showing me that. I don't know if you had one of those when you were younger or somebody else has one of those, but she show, it, it's like a monkey with long legs and arms. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. She, so yes, that's, do. does it, she's showing me that for some reason whenever that was relevant she's just confirming or giving you a confirmation and she wants you to know whenever you see butterflies whenever you see a, a, a uh, I want us I'm gonna say it the way I'm gonna say it but you're gonna know hopefully what it means whenever you see a wild animal that's yellow I think that means a bird a butterfly but butterflies can be any color but um, anything yellow, it's her she's around because yellow is she's saying yellow is like the sunshine even yellow flowers even dandelions yellow is the color okay thank you so much um anything yellow anything yellow like yellow flowers like the sunflower a, uh, any butterfly of any color and especially um even if there's a yellow bird or anything yellow that's a um a sign that she's with you and she wants you to know that she's gonna be with you for uh, you're gonna feel her very strong for a month and then there will be a little break okay just a little break while she up levels or you know integrates more into the higher realms is the way i would say that and then you might not feel her as strongly, but you have to raise your frequency or vibration over the next month also so that you can keep feeling her at the same intensity because as their intensity goes up, our intensity has to go up or our frequency or energy. If we stay um, too low, we won't be, uh, if we keep our frequency sad and, and downtrodden, we won't be able to feel them as much as they they their frequent as they go up higher realms on the other side. I I I know when I say that it's it wants to come out one way, everybody, but then I try to use words that everybody will understand. So I kind of sound like I'm stammering, but I'm not. I'm just trying to say it in a way that everybody would understand it. So when you lose somebody and uh, when somebody goes home to the other side, the sooner we can start to raise our frequency or feel that joy again, which I know is super difficult, 
then we'll stay feeling them stronger for a longer time. <sighs> okay, I hope everybody understood that very awkward way of me saying it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sweetie, she wants you to know um, uh, that she loves you and she's going to be staying with you, okay? Okay. And th thank you so much for taking the time to call in. See, when it's when I know it's going to be a little bit longer of an answer, I I would I don't want to tap it into the chat. Although I'll chat some of, I'll chat some of it, but I would rather give it to the person over the phone, especially like a message okay. like this because half of this wouldn't have come through in the chat. Okay, love. So thank you for calling in. I really appreciate yeah. that. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. You are so, so welcome. And you can call back anytime. I'm here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. I want to say hi to a couple people who have, are on. Uh, Fawn Marla Martinson is driving to California right now listening to us. So everybody say hey to Marla. Her and I do a lot of shows together on Marla's station. Um, she's the mystical matchmaker and she's very, she's very witchy. She's a good witch. She's a good witch. And she, um, I don't know why I felt like I needed to say that. <laughs> If you've ever seen her cute little face, you know she's a good witch. Um, yeah, Heather's here, Fawn, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Um, I hope you're feeling better with losing your voice. Ray Johnson's here. Yes, I do still offer hypnosis, Ray. I absolutely do. Lola. Oh, my God. Lola. Hi. Oh, I'm so happy you're here with the show. Michelle Lee is here. Um, I'm so happy you guys can catch the show. Um, I'm so happy, so, so happy. If I missed anybody, I apologize. I'll try to get your name. Um, Lola, Genevieve is your, Genevieve is my mom. Oh, awesome. Hey, Lola. I hope she's watching tonight if she can. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is, and if you would like to call in, it's um, 845-277-9131. Call in and ask a question about life, love, career, connect with a loved one on the other side. For a second, my dyslexia kicked in and I was like, wait, no, that's not it. Um, 475, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Ritu, and I'm calling from Connecticut. Okay, excellent. Can you please repeat your name one more time? I just don't want to call you by the wrong name. Ritu. Ritu. Okay, thank you. What's your question or connection for me tonight, <laughs> love? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just curious. Um, what do you see for me in terms of, you know, finding a life partner? Okay, the first thing I heard is November and it came in like thunder. Like I heard, November, <laughs> like like that guy who does the, 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 oh my gosh, I can see him and he has the mic and he, he I can't think of his name, but like, um, oh gosh, I really messed that up because I can't think of what he says, but it came in like thunder. So I feel like in November and hopefully it's this November, this person is going to come in strong, okay? And it's going to take off quickly, although I would say, take your time. I don't feel like you're going to be able to. I feel like this is just one of those things and the, the statement they're giving me is lights, camera, action. <laughs> like it's just going to, whatever this is, it's just going to take off like a lightning bolt. Like <laughs> um, be ready. Make sure anything that has hindered you in the past is done and over and you are in that space. So let me do a clearing right now for you, for everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching on any of the television stations. Hey, guys on TV. Any of the radio stations. Hey, my radio peeps. Any of the podcasts. Love all of you. Um, anything stopping or blocking you from a healthy, loving 
relationship, having one, being in one, having the right partner has healed, cleared, released. Let's <coughs> let's get that out now. Oh. And I hear that song by U2. I always want to call them YouTube, but it's U2. Um, oh, the sweetest thing. Um, <laughs> let's let that clear for a second. In November, this person is going to come in strong and it's going to be like, you know, the movie, The Never Ending Story, they're calling it The Never Ending Romance. But that doesn't mean you don't uh, be aware. Just because somebody comes in in November, make sure it's the the right the right somebody from the get-go. Um, don't assume that the first person is the person. Put them to the test still and don't give in too easy because remember, um, with men, it's all about feeling like they won a prize and they need that little bit of a challenge. And if you're just like, yep, let's go, it might, they might kind of think, well, this was really easy, right? Um, so make sure you're Mm -hmm. um still putting them to the tests uh check for those flags make sure none of them are red um and and then go go from there okay love and okay, i do thank you wow that was really great i'm gonna say this this guy the person i'm seeing and I don't, they just flashed a face in front of me, but it's only the side of the face. So I can't tell you a lot, but I feel like this person has a little bit dark olive skin. So like Mediterranean or I don't want to say Middle Eastern, but like, you know how there's light olive skin and then dark olive skin. It's the skin isn't. It's like olive skin tanned. I know that doesn't like people are like, what are you really? But you're going to know when you see it like the dark. It's olive. It's not like black or brown, but it's olive. And they're being very specific about that. And then dark um, like a black black hair, but it's it's um, smooth hair, a, a smooth hair. Like it's straight, it's straight, like, like there's no curl to it. Like I, if I ever was mugged, the person drawing the picture would get up and walk away from me. I swear to goodness, because I cannot describe people, but the hair is like, like, uh, uh, not like curly hair at all. That's that. I'm just going to leave that there because Clearly, my descriptors are not are not the best, but I hope it helps. Okay. Um, but dark hair and uh, and like an olive, thank you, olive skin. Okay, love. <clears throat> okay, thank you so much. No, this is great. I and thanks for taking the time. Absolutely, and please call back and let me know um, if the if please call back and let us know when this person comes in and how close I, how good my description was. And then also, if you ever have any I other, well. any other questions, you can, you can call, call in again and ask, do you know what? I, I just want to say this, like I have um, Sicilian people in my family and when they like in the winter, their skin is a little lighter, but when they go to Italy or Sicily, their skin gets really dark, but olive dark. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. Okay. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you again. I hope you have a thank you. Bye. You are so welcome. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next caller in a second. Um uh, Michelle Lee wants to know, would there by chance be a message from my brother David? Okay, um Michelle, David. The energy got really serious and a little somber. So, Michelle, as I'm giving this message, please give confirmations. Um, unless you want to call in, Michelle, and ask and get more of a message, it's easier that way. But um, 
the message got really somber. And then I hear the song cumbersome, um, which I can't hear the words, but I'm hearing cumbersome, the word and assuming it's the song. Um, I feel like his passing or why he passed was very sad and sudden. I hear sad and sudden. Um, and then sad and sudden again. So please let me know, um, Michelle, that I am tapping into the right person, first of all, and that this makes sense. And then the next thing that I hear, Michelle, okay, thank you. She says, yes, everybody. The next thing that I'm hearing is he, if I would have known then what I know now, it would have flipped everything around. It would have flipped everything around, but he is home. He's home. And then I see three or four people, ancestors with him, that one's on the right, one's on the left, and one's behind him. And this is so sad. And unfortunate. This is just like the feeling his, his feel, the feeling I'm getting from him is just so heavy and so sad and so somber. And um, um, it's like, obviously his emotions are coming through me and he wishes it would have been different. Um, uh, but it, unfortunately it just wasn't. And um, thank you for checking on him and I just feel like he feels like no he didn't feel like anybody would have cared but as he looks now he sees how much everybody <clears throat> everybody cared and that it was um so unfortunate just so unfortunate and those are the messages that I'm getting <sighs> and um thank you thank you again um but he is with loved ones and they are all like cocooning him and healing whatever it was that the way I'm hearing it, whatever it was that went down, whatever went down, they're co cocooning him in their angelic heavenly energy and healing him now. And that's really important for you to pass on to everybody to let them know whatever happened is being healed and he is doing much better now. Okay. Michelle, I so hope that was helpful for you. And I'm so sorry for the loss. Um, and I'm going to go to the next caller. If you would like to call in and ask a question about love, life, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all, anyone, or connect with a loved one on the other side, um, please call in 845-277-9131, or you can join on YouTube live and chat with everybody in the chat section. I want to say hi to Matthew and Cindy. I know that those guys listen all the time. I love you guys. Here we go. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Katie. I am in New York. Hey, Katie. How can I help you tonight? Um, I actually decided where I'm moving, and I'm picking out places. And um, a place that came up, and I really wish I took it. It was um, it was spacious. It was affordable. But the window was like looking, the view was like looking at a wall. It was a painted wall, but it was a wall. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, so I didn't take it, but I'm going to find it on a Friday. Like if somebody else put the application in, if they didn't get it, maybe I can still get it. Um, so I wanted to ask about either that property or um, am I going to find something else or just something um, like where, kind of where um, could I look? Okay, there's another place coming in within a month. I hear this wasn't the right property for you regardless. Um, <clears throat> I'm hearing make a, what they're saying is make a list out of all the places that haven't worked out so far. 
make a list of all the things that you want based on everything that didn't work out and then put it up, put it under your pillow and sleep on it. And the next day you're, you're going to find it, but make sure you're putting in everything, like everything. Okay. And they'll bring it to you. Um, the timing is going to be a little bit, you're going to find the right place, the perfect place but the timing is going to be a little bit difficult, but you're going to be able to swing it and make it work with everybody. You're going to be able to really, everybody, it's going to come together in the end and it's going to be perfect and everything's going to work out, okay? Yeah, thank you. Because I, I have another place too, but I'm like, I never lived in a studio before, so I'm like, uh, I maybe I think that's a good plan to write down. <laughs> This yeah. There's other place that's a beautiful, beautiful place, but it's just a studio. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah I, can, I would definitely do that. And and here's what I'm getting. Um, sometimes when we're looking and we don't, because it's where we live, it's important to have like our top five must haves, and because it's where we live, that's not where you experiment. Well, maybe I could make this work. Okay. Maybe that would be fun. Maybe that would, no, 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 no. This is where, where you live. And if every time you walk into your house, you have that uh, feeling, no, 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 no. So make sure you have your top five must haves and then your next five definitely would love and then your next five if i get this that's like the mother loving bonus round um but don't don't compromise to some place that you're going to be for a minimum of a year um and the most important thing on your list is that it should energetically the energy should raise you up and it should have amazing neighbors and then list your next five okay okay yeah I have, a, I have a place like that but it doesn't have a bathtub but it has a jacuzzi so I have to like I think that's a good thing what you're saying think about it what are my like top five things like what or my must have some actually in my own apartment you know regardless of the amenities yeah I think that's a good that's a good thing for me to seriously ponder Absolutely. And so that I'm going to say that and I'm going to, I'm thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful thank for you. that. Thank you. And I'm going to, as I thank let, you. you don't have to hang up, but I'm going to say this. I'm going to say one of the things I've realized is that when I am in a place, in a space, there are, being where I am now, I realized I didn't think it would be a big deal when I moved in. The closets are what they called old German closets, and they're like maybe three feet long. Now, any woman knows. Yeah, that just doesn't work. I don't I don't care. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So I've had to become extremely creative. So the bedrooms have one closet that's probably like this wide, seriously, like th I know this isn't three feet, but whatever. It's very small. And so I've had to come up with so many different ways to try to like swap out. Here's the season's things and here's the season's things. And it's crazy. So I know wherever I go next, oh, the closet is going to be just as big as a bedroom because I can't keep having shoes on shoes on shoes on shoes and things all over doors. And it's just crazy. And I know some of you boys out there might think you don't need so many clothes. You're wrong. It's just that simple. You're, you're wrong. We do. Women do. Men can get away with like, minimalistic needs for clothes women cannot we can't it doesn't work that way for women we can't have three pair of shoes a dress pair a tennis shoe 
a, a going out pair. It doesn't work that way for women. No, because they give us all these crazy designs. So we need to have shoes to match the crazy designs. And then the bags have to match the shoe. It's just, and, and you men say you don't care, but you do because you're looking at the women who are in that. So you do, you do care. I'm just saying. Okay, enough about that. <laughs> that is, that went way to the left and we're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to go back. I have a question online. I'm going to answer that question. And if you would like to call in, 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. Uh, Michelle, you are so very welcome. Um, oh, so you are so welcome. So I'm going to go to the next um, caller. And don't worry about me crying. Not a big deal. I do it all the time. I'm just a crier. Patrick, um, the next question online. Tony, can you tell me, would I have enough house and pet sitting bookings? Oh, Patricia. I'm so sorry. It's Patricia, not Patrick. I'm so sorry about that. Please forgive me. Tony, can you tell me, would I have enough house and pet sitting bookings signing on site now? So, so that I have the free housing start in October and leave this neg negative gospel rescue mission. Okay, so Patricia, what I'm going to say is almost, almost sign now. Um, I'm going to clear it that Patricia gets, um, there's something stopping or blocking her. No, she's going to get them. You are going to get them. Um, I feel like you are. Let's strengthen that to make sure. And Patricia, just uh, keep moving forward and allow yourself to be in that space with a knowing of strength that it's coming in. One other message I was getting for someone before I started the show, and it was it's kind of a specific message. Maybe it's for more than one person. If you're thinking of quitting your job, do not quit. Do not quit your job until you have another job. And if, if, unless you're starting your own thing, do not quit your thing, your job until your thing is up and running. I think somebody is very, very frustrated with their job and they just want to do the big quit, like big video quit, or just the take this job and shove it quit, or just not show up or just show them. Don't do it yet. Don't do it until you have something very solid lined up. It's not going to be as simple to get your next position if you quit this way. So please do not just adios your job for whomever that's for. Okay, I'm going to go to 914. <clears throat> 914, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Catherine from New York. Hey, Catherine, how are you? Hello. Hey, Catherine, how are you? Okay, thank you. Lots going on. How are you? I'm good. Could you please turn down the device I'm in the good. back that you're listening to me on? I'm sorry, is that better? I hope so. <laughs> there we go. Yes. How can I help you, love? Yes, yeah, okay. Thank you. I think Black was for me, by the way. I used to love, I still love that song, but I used to, it, it got me through sometimes. <laughs> that is such an awesome song, right? Pearl Jam, you can't go wrong, that's for sure. So what's yeah. your question yeah. today, love? Um, I was wondering, I'm still having issues with a home repair and I'm working with a gentleman named Ben, who's like um, an independent adjuster for to help with insurance. But I was wondering if you see the lawyer, um, Simone or Daniel, being needed to come on board as well, or if you think it'll go through fine with just Ben. I think the lawyer might, one of the lawyers might need to come in just to reinforce whatever he says. You don't have to bring the lawyer right now, but you will need like a statement or just a letter letting them know there is someone legally helping you and that will help everything go more smoothly, okay? 
oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, so either either a lawyer would be fine, but right now, if Ben can do it, um, be okay. Yeah, I have I have Ben um, do the work and then, or give the estimate or whatever, and then have the lawyer like kind of back it up or send the estimate in on his letterhead. That will make the okay. process go much faster for you. Okay, love? Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank oh, you. You're so welcome, love. God bless you too. And if you have more questions, please feel free to call back anytime on Monday at noon or Wednesday at noon. And I'm going to go to the next online question. It's JOS. Cleo, so I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm going to just say ja, Jos, jo, Jos, Jos. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't pronounce that. Um, hi, Tony. My mom passed away a year ago. I'm so sorry for your loss. I miss her so much. Can you connect with her? Can you please tell her I miss her and is she okay? Can you please give me her first name? Um, just because I like to uh, use their name when I'm talking with them. And then, uh, of course, uh, her name is Rita. Okay, thank you so much. Um, yes, okay, so, yes. I, uh, she knows you miss her, and she knows that you've been, um, like, talking a lot, uh, talking a lot, like, to her, almost, like, um, I don't want to say I like what I'm getting is like I'm seeing you like in your this is how I talk to my mom so please don't feel every night I talk to my mom as I fall asleep and I talk to you know a few other people as I fall asleep and just have conversations with them and so she she understands she's been listening and she's been trying to answer you and show you her confirmations so when you see these things these are her things to let you know she is with you. And the first confirmation is like, you know, when there's a sunset or a sunrise in the sky and it has pinkish purple in it, that's one of them. That's one of the ways that she shows you she's with you. The other way is anytime you see a heart, whether it's on a billboard, uh, any place, any, any heart, I can't even make a heart. Any heart you see, any place, that's her symbol that she's with you. And then her color for you is like the purple. She shows me purple, but then like a pink reddish hue with it. But purple is the first color. So anytime you see the color purple. And so whether it's in a, a flower or anything, that no matter where you see that color on, it's it's her letting you know it's a confirmation for you to know that she is with you and she wants you to know that she has been watching out for you and to make yourself um okay this statement is going to sound funny but not because I know exactly what she's saying to make yourself happy because we can't depend on anybody else to make us happy it's not their responsibility most people can't make themselves happy, let alone make anybody else happy. So just make yourself happy and and do what it takes to make you happy. Of course, not at the expense of anybody else, but uh, find the things to do that make you happy. OK, get back into the things that bring you joy and happiness and just do them. The things that are healthy. I don't know why that was added, but, um, and she loves you and she's watching out for you. And, um, and yeah, those are her, her things for you. And caterpillars. Yep. That's a caterpillar. Cat caterpillars. I don't, I think in my whole life, I've seen a caterpillar twice. Twice I've seen cat caterpillars, but now, now I am going to say this. The caterpillar is the like little thing that turns into a butterfly, of course, and it's all fuzzy and cute, right? Whatever. Um, but there's also a company uh, like they make caterpillar 
some sort of caterpillar. Um, I have a hair on my face. I'm so sorry. Caterpillar like um, industrial equipment. That's it. I think it's industrial. I think it's called industrial equipment. I think cater. That's it. So if you see like a backhoe with the name caterpillar on it, <laughs> I don't know. But I'm, I'm any place you see the word caterpillar or you see a caterpillar. That's also a sign for you. Okay. I hope that's helpful. And thank you so much for putting um, that in there for me. And it is very, very unique, a very unique uh, little uh, message for you in Caterpillar, but I love it. I love it so much. Okay. So I am going to go to the next caller. You guys, did I do 916? Can anybody tell me if I did uh, 916? Hey, Roxana, how are you? Thank you for joining the show. Um, uh, I see your question. Is my husband getting a job soon? I think that's supposed to be soon. Is your husband getting a job soon? Um, I, what I'm going to say, Roxana, is it's not going to be as soon as you would like. I feel like it's going to be a month before the job comes in, and he really has to be very diligent. I'm going to tell you, Roxana, go to company websites rather than like the in, the big job websites. Just start looking at company websites. Um and start looking for things. And even if there's something that's not perfect for him, but it'll do get it because once he gets that first job, three or four other jobs, once he gets that first thing, whether it's an interview or an offer, three or four other things are gonna come in that are gonna be much better. So he just needs to get back in that energy of having something. So go straight to company websites, like I'm just going to name like bank websites, credit card websites, um, like uh, uh, I'm just going to name off some places. I don't know if they're hiring right now, but like PayPal website, um, hotel websites, see what's available, go to their uh, careers or opportunities and see what's available and just start putting it out there. Um, not everybody lists on those sites. Some people only hire from their own. Oh, and airlines. Airlines are another one I'm hearing. Um, and I don't know if this makes sense for you, but Amtrak or a train, some sort of train thing, just go to all those because all these companies need people in all different positions. Okay. So I hope that's helpful, Roxana. I'm just going to go to... Um, uh, 111, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Rosemaria from New Jersey. Hey, Rosemaria, how can I help you tonight? Um, I know I have friends that I know he's around me, but he's like giving me signs that know that he's around me, that way drives for a living and giving me messages. So I'm not sure what he's trying to say to me. So I completely did not understand any of that. And I apologize for that. Um, the connection must be a little bit rough. So if you could, um, I know you said, you know, you have friends around you. And I think you said they're giving you signs. So you already know that. What would you like to know? I want to make sure I'm answering your question correctly. Um, I know you've been giving me messages so much. Trying to figure out what is he trying to say to me, if that makes sense. It makes sense, but I can't, I'm, can you just repeat that one more time? Because it's kind of mumbly, to be honest, and I just need it to be a little bit clearer, and I apologize, I'm not understanding. What is he trying to say? He's trying to say to me that he's coming here to the U.S., or... Okay, you want to know sure what... what he's trying to say. Okay, thank you so much. I'm so sorry about that. I am so, so sorry. Um, sometimes a connection just isn't as clear for me. So you just want to know what your friend is trying to tell you. Okay. So the right. first thing I hear is the song and it's, um, um, give me a second because I don't really know this song. Song you're trying to tell her. Um, da na 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 
na na na na na live and let die okay that's the song so um wh what i take from that for me just live your life um and whatever that song for you whatever that song means for you but i would listen to that song because i feel like there's a message in that song for you and the next thing your friend would want to say is um that it's another song let me love you i i know i'm off tune i'm sorry folks that is the statement is let me love you um so i'm thinking this friend is just trying to say that they loved you always and will continue to love you and that the the next thing that i would say this person wants to say to you is again i'm hearing i'm sorry i shouldn't have done that i should have been smarter i could have been I could have been in a better place. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. You guys, when these messages come through, I don't, you know, I'm just hearing words and I'm repeating them and I'm praying that they are the right words. So and that that the right person is coming through. So thank you so much for confirming that for me. And I need you to know there's like probably hundreds of people in my room with me right now. And they're so the, I'm, I'm always trying to make sure I'm getting the right person for the person asking. Um, and then the, the last one is um, if I just would have done the message that the last message, if I would have done one thing different, everything would be different. But I didn't. And here we are. And it's okay. I'm okay. I'm flying high. And I'm, and I'm, um, I, uh, he's trying to, uh, trying to turn it into a song like, I'm flying high, but it's not a song that exists that I know of. I'm flying high and I'm okay but nobody can take this high away. Okay, I know exactly what he's meaning. He's flying high on the other side in heaven, like at home. And it, this is the, it can't be taken away. It, he won't come down is what I'm hearing. So whatever that means for him, for this situation and this person, um, but know that that recovery has happened and, then the song that's coming in is I want to be free, free, da, 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 da. and I don't know all the words to that song, and I'm sorry, and yes, I know I can't sing, everybody. Please don't send me messages saying you really can't sing. Uh, I know. I know I can't sing. Everybody knows I can't sing. Um, so that's the other song, and finally I am. Finally I am. I'm sorry for the pain I left behind. I'm sorry for the damage that I did. And that's the message that your friend wants to make sure that you get. Okay, sweetie. And that there was always love, even if it couldn't be 90 seconds. shown or put in the right perspective for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much yeah. for calling in. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you um, understand those messages and they are very helpful for you. Okay, everybody, um, I will be back uh, this weekend. I'm going to try to talk Marla into doing a show with me this weekend, maybe a Friday or a Saturday <laughs> night show. So we can both give you messages. It'll be the bonus round. And don't forget the link to my books, What If, Ooh. channeled messages number one and channeled messages number two are in all the bios if you would like to read some poems or transform your life just go ahead and click and get one of them um i love each and every one of you so very stinking much i just adore you all mm -hmm.